Hi, welcome everyone to the next episode of Fantastic Talks. As always, you know, I like to start with the gratitude. Thank you for giving all the love and attention to these talks and taking out your time to come and listen to us. And I hope these talks where you're talking to the best of the best from India's financial services industry and especially investments, insurance, life insurance, health insurance. These people are helping you uh, understand uh, these products and markets better and helping you create a better portfolio that will help you become wealthy. I like to start by saying that what's the difference between rich and wealthy? So rich is the amount of money you have. So if you have more money than you need, you're rich. So example is a person has one crore rupees, he's rich. But if he's spending 10 lakh rupees per month, then after 10 months, if he doesn't have any other source of income, he is not going to remain rich. So that but when you have enough money and your spending is equal to the amount of income coming in and that your money can last you, outlast you, that's when we say that you're rich, uh, is you, you're wealthy. So we, I really hope that all of you choose to be wealthy. And uh, as I say, you know, financial planning, one of the basic principles of financial planning, a lot of people ask me this question, how do I create wealth? And I start by saying that you create wealth by protecting wealth. Okay, so people have this fallacy, okay, I invest and I buy stocks, I do trading or I buy mutual funds, I will create wealth. Okay, you create wealth from your occupation, your business, your salary. What is your core work? That is the where your money comes in and you spend less than what you earn. And that is your investable surplus. And that investable surplus, when it accumulates, becomes your wealth. Okay, so when you start on your investment journey or the journey to grow this, the first thing you need to do is you need to secure this. Okay, so point is that in, so wealth creation starts by protection. And the first thing you need to buy is health insurance. Because if you look at any crisis or any emergency in anybody's family, it is always 80% around health. Somebody fell sick or somebody, there's a lot of money getting spent on someone's treatment. So, you know, if you want to be wealthy, you have to first insure. So first you insure your health insurance, then you buy life insurance, and then you insure your assets. So that whatever you have created till now, your house, your factory, your stock, is all protected and once you have done that that's when you start on your investment journey where you buy mutual fund stocks or uh, you know even gold silver or any other investment or properties so that that is when you start on that journey so on that spirit today i'm very pleased to have uh, mank bhatwal with uh, bhatwal with us from aditya Villa uh, health insurance one of the sharpest brains in the insurance industry and he's been a part of this industry for a long long period of time before this he was with the life insurance company and one of the smartest and the most ethical persons a man with a golden heart so without further ado let me ask uh, uh, mank to join us thank you thank you sanji for this opportunity really appreciate this and it's always a pleasure to be with you uh, on any so, Frank, you know, I like to call you a man with a golden heart. Although you're a CFO and people hate their CFOs, huh? you know, because CFOs are the uh, keepers. So let me ask you with a very different question than our topic, that how do you, you know, maintain being such a nice human being, such a nice person, whereas your role has always been of control and checking. So how do you do that, uh, you know, balancing in your life? <laughs> no, firstly, uh, you know, uh, I'm thank you for such kind words. Uh, uh, you know, what who you are, what you become, a lot of that goes back to what your upbringing is, right? How your parents, what values they gave you, uh, what did you learn from them? Uh, also, you know, as you get into the you know, kind of friend, friends you create, uh, when you start work, what kind of people you work with. So I, I, I must say, you know, the, the values instilled in me by my parents, you know, the, my first set of leaders whom I worked with, uh, some of the stuff that I learned from them is about humility, about, uh, you know, uh, looking at everyone uh, as, as an individual who has an individuality, his or her, and uh, look at, differentiate between issues and the person, and therefore, 
you know it's not it, you, you may like not like issues but you know it's different in in kind of the person so i think that is what uh, i have tried to uh, you know imbibe in how i have wanted to interact but of course i i i won't necessarily say that everything i have done is right on on in context of your question uh, i'm not sure the finance community will necessarily like to you know agree with that because you know my belief is that uh, it's not just about control today the role of a cfo has become a lot more about a business partner and that's what you know uh, i learned from people whom i grew under uh, of how you can actually enable business then uh, traditionally how it used it started with a controllership role the munim thing that you remember you know the concept of that as it started you know later on it has become a lot more partnership role yeah in fact uh, that's a very good uh, you know analysis first it started with a record keeping role then it went into a reporting role and today it's actually a partner then it went into a control role and today it's a business uh, strategic business growth role so okay. man uh, before we get into again further details of the topic you talked about your parents and upbringing so tell us a little bit about your childhood your where were you born what were your parents what is your schooling and how did you end up entering uh, financial services industry yeah so uh, actually I, i was i was born in a city uh, uh, called gorakhpur in up uh, i mean it's it's you know i come it's a very large family uh, there uh, from where i was uh, you know which i was part of my father is a doctor uh, is a ent specialist and uh, my mother is a homemaker and uh, when i was 8 years old uh, my father moved to uh, Cal- the erstwhile calcutta now kolkata uh, you know to pursue his professional dreams in in a larger uh, city uh, so i my uh, you know up from class 4 onwards my education has all been in uh, kolkata uh, you know as as i moved uh, ahead in my career uh, in my in schooling days uh, while i was uh, I, i was a reasonably good student uh, used and i was you know deciding between science and commerce i ended up picking up commerce i did ca typically as it happens because in in our days it used to be engineer ban jao doctor ban jao charter accountant ban jao ye teen mein se ek role hota tha especially if you have to work somewhere right i had an opportunity to go back uh, to my family business which my you know we had a large joint family mantles and all run very large manufacturing facilities uh, in gorakhpur and other places so i i felt that i should do something on my own um, to start with and therefore uh, i must b- demonstrate my own capability uh, and and learn a few things so i ended up uh, joining uh, the aditya birla group after i passed ci I, i did very well i was uh, you know placed fifth in the country so i got a offer uh, from many places because of uh, you know the brand you know affinity i ended up joining the group and i worked with uh, kind of a ceo of ceos uh, you know in my initial 4 5 years and therefore learned a lot and uh, you know in in several roles project assignments uh, strategic roles etc and then when i was thinking what next uh, in 99 uh, this whole opportunity of uh, you know the life insurance category came in when the sector was just opened up and i felt it would be a big uh, you know opportunity to build a career there and i was part of the team which set up that business so that is how i you know in, i'm just giving you a brief answer uh, sanjeev and happy to you know elaborate any particular part but that's how i got into life insurance and then it was all history 15 16 years there then i got an opportunity to set up the health insurance business about 6 years back okay, super so how has your experience been on health insurance man uh, you know you had seen life insurance before and you are now in health insurance and uh, aditya birla health insurance is a slightly later entrant so it wasn't the first entrant in the industry you know first the general insurance companies came in then some speciality insurance company health insurance companies came in and aditya billa was a slightly late entrant so you had the you know the ability to learn from other people's mistakes so just tell us about this health insurance market and and what were the mistakes being made by the other health insurance companies that you intended to correct when you have built up aditya billa health Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good question, Sanjeev. Uh, I remember into you know, uh, while I was in the life insurance business, uh, uh, I was the deputy CEO in my last role. Uh, 
uh, the group was evaluating opportunities in the health insurance also and i volunteered because somehow i don't know why i just felt that health as a category is very interesting because it it help you know it it gives you an opportunity to engage with consumers around a very in- interesting theme of their health where in life used to struggle to find ways to engage with consumers and health i just felt there could be opportunity so uh, when uh, you know a joint venture was uh, agreed you know and 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 unlike life insurance in health you don't find too many large global players you'll find very large for example some of the largest health insurance uh, companies are in us but they don't they don't have very large global play uh, similarly even otherwise you know you'll have you'll find very few players who have global footprint because health is a very local national subject the regulatory framework it's very unique in different countries so you don't find too many large health insurance players so we we kind of zoomed in on this player in south africa mmi uh, because south africa is a very unique health insurance market and i'll talk about it and the group came into J- you know created a jv i was then given an opportunity to set this business up there was only one mandate that uh, you know mr birla had given uh, me and the team that you are a late entrant but you know uh, you uh, birlas don't you know adit birla group does not get into any business to be a very uh, you know minor player just an, another player i mean it it has to make it make its impact so the business model has to be something which will actually open up the market uh, much more broadly than where it was uh, as as probably uh, you know you and some of the viewers will know health insurance came into india in 1986 in a avatar called mediclaim and it stayed in its avatar of mediclaim uh, you know till for the next 30 years what is, what does what did the uh, mediclaim do if the customer you know falls sick gets in the hospital the insurance company will pay the claim uh you know and and the regulator said that there is a lifetime lifetime guaranteed renewability for the consumer in this product which means the insurance company is doing only one time selection and after that it's upon the consumer to whether to stay and as you know the need of the insurance uh, you know health insurance only grows with age uh, the cost of insurance probably will go because the probability of uh, event happens much more so we realize that the model of a very reactive funding game or funding the event and that to only for hospitalization is not a very sustainable way of building a health insurance business and no wonder most of the companies don't make underwriting profit if at all anyone and uh, so if you have to build a business how do you kind of really make it sustainable from firstly from the company's perspective secondly if you were to ask any consumer of medi- you know buyer of mediclaim would they want to engage with the category and use the category next day no one will because no one wants to be in the hospital but health is a subject where you can you can create more lot more engagement so we felt why can't we play a role of in health insurance which word comes first health and then insurance comes but the category had typically been playing the role talking the language of insurance all the time fear if something happens what do you do why can't you talk the positive language of health that you like you 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 want to do something good about your health please keep doing we will play a role in driving that by creating better access incentivizing motivating you and if something happens insurance is there and that's the business call that we took our philosophy is to work with our consumers to drive better health outcomes for our consumers through our products through creating better access because our interest is aligned we want the consumer to stay healthy and there's no lack of alignment so you know if we do it well consumer will trust us and that's what we were tempted to do that expand the role of the category from just a pure play funder to a more a uh, health influencer like you know our products for example incentivize consumers to stay healthy we have the one of its kind product in the world which gives the entire premium back to consumer if they demonstrate truly good health behavior and the whole th- thing is that it helps you select and bring in younger people into health insurance because ultimately if insurance has to be affordable you need larger mass of people into insurance you to bring them young and healthy and i think that approach has uh been one reason why we have done well uh, of course thanks to partners like yourself who has taken our offering to consumers in a in a, in a very large scale and uh, we suddenly find many many more people buying health insurance today than what they were buying earlier because they find the product more appealing they find the product more relevant and the experience more relevant and appealing and i think that is what uh, to my mind should be the way forward that you bring in newer newer uh, uh, you know open up more white spaces what consumers need but but change the role 
to a more health partner because i think that's what consumers will prefer than just pay for the event I mean, that's very well explained mank so you talked about a health insurance company with a difference so for my viewers who don't know about aditya billa health this is a company which is based on uh, some south african companies and a concept that started there where they said look we are a health insurer either we can be a post mortem that something has happened to a person and we are paying the premium can we play a part in keeping a person healthy by taking him towards the right habit and this whole practice is called wellness and aditya birla health is built around wellness and it's one of the unique and one of the new indian companies to do that it's actually got an amazing amazing response and uh, mank would you like to share some numbers the kind of growth yeah. that you have shown is very inspirational and uh, despite being a later entrant you have beaten a lot of other players so is that due to your wellness platform has has it played a huge role or it is still on the it is just basis on the quality of health insurance that you are offering uh so uh, you know firstly uh, i must say that i respect every peer every other organization i think they are doing their own bit in the industry each one of us are, are trying to play our role uh, but i think when we came in as i said there were lots of white spaces for example who was buying health insurance typically we found people in the age of 35 to 50 55 were buying health insurance people younger than them either thought health insurance is not relevant for them because they'll not get they are healthy or many of them were working so they thought that you know i have corporate insurance uh, in in people above 50 55 if they had not bought till then they were not eligible because mostly the underwriting was not selecting them so i think our proposition where we brought in products which are attractive to the younger and healthier consumers we brought in products like uh, uh, you know full full benefit of for people with diabetes asthma blood pressure etc including outpatient expenses not just hospital made it more appealing so it was more inclusive as a product so it actually was relevant for much larger mass of indian consumers we created a distribution at scale uh, working with you know uh, banks we today work with 14 banks we've got large partners like yourself uh, work with agency and so what we have achieved in last so we ended last fifth year last year uh, march 22 we we did business of about 17 50 odd crores and if we look back at the past of who were how, at what stage were people in the at the end of their fifth year the closest one was with 900 crores or something like that so we were actually significantly ahead in terms of the pace at which we have been growing even in first quarter we grew at 71% uh, you know industry grew at 21 sahis grew at 28% and the our belief is that the power of the brand of course aditya birla brand is you know you know evokes a lot of trust in people's mind but also power of the offering combined with the you know uh, trust that the people have in the uh, our partners through whom we take the product to the market actually has helped make consumers choose our offering today at much larger scale than what we saw otherwise and after that of course it has been how do you create experience for example in our flagship product of where we pay 100% health return back we thought maybe some young urban person will earn the first time the first consumer who won the entire 100% health return was a 55 year old individual in muzaffarpur near patna now many viewers may not even know where muzaffarpur is is a small city in near town in near patna so imagine the power of the offering that it actually appeals and and when i spoke to that customer he said because of you i make sure i walk 10000 steps every day my if i am not my wife will actually tell me go and walk you must ensure that you get the you know it makes you you know uh, stay healthy active that's the power of the offering sanjeev yeah, that's amazing so uh, guys uh, for everyone to understand Aditya Birla Health Insurance has a very unique product, where uh, now it has been copied by some other companies, or let me say that they have innovated also, where you get a percentage of your premium back if you are healthy or you maintain healthy practices. So, Meg, just tell us a little bit about your top two, three products. Like people are asking that what are the best products offered by Aditya Birla Health Insurance, and before that, uh, one question. uh you know which i think lot of people ask ke look uh, you know should i go in for a group insurance is that enough or do i need an individual health insurance 
Now, this is a, I have very strong views here. First, we'll take your views, then I'll share mine. So, let me, let, let me uh, try and address the second one, uh, and then I'll come to the products, and, you know, in detail. See, uh, I, I, you know, I'm I'm part of a corporate environment where uh, I'm myself and as an employee get this coverage from, in you know, uh, the corporate. Uh, I I've, since I've been with the group for 28 years, I've worked with the Aditya Birla group for now 28 years. Many people, you know, I know lots of people, and in being in the health insurance space, many people who are retiring come back and say, "My, I need health insurance. I don't have health insurance because I I I kind of relied on the health insurance offered by the corporate. Now." How do I get it? And uh, I, you know, two, three years back, I attempted, I couldn't get it. That's the first problem that starts happening. That if you leave it for too late, you may just get, you know, uh, become Ill, you know, ineligible for insurance because you may develop a health condition, etc. Please remember that in today's environment, firstly, corporates are not giving adequate insurance. I mean, the levels of coverage will be 4 lakh, 5 lakh. In some cases like ours, we get an option to subscribe to top so top up etc but it's always linked to your job with opportunities rising so much in the environment in which we work today many people are getting into entrepreneurship starting their own stuff you know what if you you know decide to do something on your own you won't have health insurance that day if you want to go and buy that day you know you may have developed a condition by the time you look at it you know our belief is khud, you know we call it khud ka insurance khud ka hota hai. You know, you know, it's like your own insurance is a lot more powerful than what you get from corporate. I'm not saying, you know, don't have, corp you know, of course you have corporate insurance. Sometimes it's uh, good to have, you know, additional insurance, especially when you're for your parents, etc. But buy your own insurance healthy so that you develop a history. Because once you are in, you know, the waiting period, etc., all of that gets over, you develop a history. And, you know, you, you, you don't have to think about I'm leaving a job. Will I have it or not? I'm starting something. Will I have it or not? I'm retiring. Will I have it or not? I think it's very important. By the way, it's not, you know, it, what's the cost? If if you think about it, 12, 15, 20,000, 25,000, if you're really buying, uh, you know, you know, the, and I keep joking about this, Sanjeev, that all of us, and I'm sure the audience here, when we go to a movie hall, we buy a 400 rupee popcorn, which can be available in 20 rupees outside. We watch two movies. We are willing to spend 1,000 bucks in a month, 12,000. But we can't spend 12,000 in a health insurance, which gives us so much financial safety, you know, peace of mind. There is a lot more value in health insurance than what we think, folks. Please, please look at it because it's your insurance. You will, uh, you know, get that peace of mind and be dependent on the uh, corporate. On your uh, first question uh, uh, of products, multiple products, because see, there are products in health insurance, there are products which cover what you call actual re you know give you the actual cost back it is called indemnity then there are products which are which give you a lump sum amount on the happening of an event so in indemnity you know our flagship product is what is called active health it's a plat active health platinum uh, it gives the entire 100 percent health premium back if you truly demonstrate good health it's a combination of uh you know walk, you know being physically active you know we do a health assessment for our customers at our cost combination of medical health and physical health, uh, you know, and if you are meeting those uh, matrix of, uh, you know, being active on a certain number of days and you're in good health condition, then you get your in. And we have large number of customers getting the full premium back. And it is automatically selecting the younger and healthier people also into the pool who have stayed away. So that's a very, very, uh, you know, uh, uh, ISA flagship. It's, it was rated the number one health insurance product by Forbes and CNBC recently. Uh, then we have, uh, uh, you know, a product which is a super top up product. We created India's uh, most, you know, when we created this, uh, you know, about two, two, two and a half years back, uh, I would say it was, uh, you know, most convenient and uh, it, it was most price effective one crore product. Of course, there are many others have uh, brought in uh, their own versions after that. And, you know, if you take a combination of, let's say, 10, 15, 20 lakh rupees of, you know, active health plus super top up going up to one crore, I think you can rest with full peace of mind that you have adequate health insurance for all times to come before your family. That is very effective. Then we have got product for critical illness. Actually, we don't realize that critical illness is a very important product in more developed markets. Like, you know, you see critical illness being sold in large numbers. If a health event happens, unfortunately, it's not just a cost of that treatment. It's a financial burden post that suppose someone has, and especially when people are, you know, maybe incapacitated for working for some time, maybe incapacitated 
to run their own business for some time where will the money to run, you know live a life come from your regular expenses treatments for you know you unfortunately incidents of cancer are increasing diabetes related you know uh, 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 you know uh, problems are increasing what will health re heart related conditions because of the lifestyle stress all of that is coming up more and more in our times you know so i i think we must so we must have a good portfolio of products across these two three dimensions so that you know you know that uh, i will not face a financial stress a point that sanjeev was making earlier that it's about protecting your wealth right you don't want your wealth to be eaten away by a, you know, a health event uh, which you can protect by not paying very very large premium every year it's a cost of you know, giving you peace of mind that your wealth will be protected for what you want to enjoy life for you know give your children or live a life after you have decided to kind of i don't i wouldn't call it retirement slow down on your career and you know live a slightly more the life that you want to live with you know from from the a day to day rigor of when you are you know working actively so that's what uh, i would say is in you yeah i absolutely agree let me give share some examples to make make you understand the importance of health insurance like i know this guy boy used to work with us we provide health insurance so he had a group health insurance he went and joined another organization very very large organization in fact a bank and uh, this guy ended up developing a cancer so where he was spending about 18 to 20 so luckily it wasn't a sort of a lethal thing but it was a long prolonged thing where he was spending 18 20 first year the company was very supportive they supported him by the next year he actually couldn't perform well on his job because you know he was taking so many days off and uh, you know so he was out of the job by the middle of the next year so he didn't have any individual health insurance but that bill had and by the next year become 20 lakhs after that it was 24 lakhs so in 5 years i had met him after 5 years i had you know i just asked him how are you doing how's everything he said sir i had a saving of 60 lakhs and today it's nil i still have that cancer i still need the treatment i don't have a health insurance i am not able to keep a job and i am stuck So guys, don't get stuck. This is the biggest mistake people make: is that they get a group insurance from their company and they think, "Yeah, man, I'm protected. I'm done." You're not. So you must always have an individual health insurance. A lot of people are buying buying group covers from other places also, from their clubs, banks, etc. I know a bank won't like me to criticize that, but that's also not a great product because there is no guarantee. There is no ombudsman available. Claim नहीं पे होता, you can't fight it, and and tomorrow they can withdraw it at any time. You have no protection. Whereas Mank said, an IRD approved individual product, you know it it once offered, you can't underwrite every year. It is your right to renew or not renew. The insurance company can't do the selection. So it is very important to have an individual health insurance, and that is why Bajaj Capital, a lot of people don't know, is India's largest retail. health insurance company matlab we are the largest individual health insurance company and we have chosen to be in this individual health insurance which is much more tougher than a group insurance which is much more easier to sell is because we know the product we are selling is actually amazing once a person you it has no claim bonuses you have other benefits your sum insured is increasing uh, with the companies like aditya villa health you get you have wellness benefits you can get back your premium you get free health checkups now you know we are talking to a lot of companies they are coming up with diet plans they are coming up with ayurvedic homeopathic consult so many interesting things are coming and features are available so please take it if you can't afford it suppose you have limited money then what mank explained super top up is a beautiful product so what super top up does is that it is based on the first loss Okay, okay. First three lakh rupees, two lakh rupees, five lakh rupees. Either I will bear through my corporate plan, or I'll bear it myself, or I'll bear it through my other policy. And I pay a very small premium, six, seven thousand, eight thousand rupees, and I get a coverage from three lakhs to one crore, or five lakh to one crore. So you know, first three lakh I will bear. After that, or my other policy will. After that, I can have. you know if the loss becomes very high suppose like you know i knew or no i know a family 
which ended up spending 48 lakh rupees because four members were hospitalized during the COVID Delta wave. So in that case, if they had a super top up, three lakh rupees may have gone from their pocket, but the remaining amount, at least 90% of that would have come in from a health insurance. So it is very important. So please understand this super top up and also understand your products because our health insurance industry have old products and new products and new products offer much better coverages. So Mank, my next question is that uh, last year or last you know, IRDA had come up with these regulations where you had to cover many more new procedures. What were there? There's a lot of curiosity about it. People don't understand it. What were the benefits that the regulator had made the insurance companies add to their to their products? And another question I guess to ask, do all the products have now those features or only it is an optional of the insurance company whether they wanted to add on those additional procedures or not? or their existing plan would also get the coverages, additional coverages that the IRD had prescribed on 1st October. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, uh, Sanjeev, I think it's an important question. Uh, and I, I would seriously advise, uh, you know, all viewers to, uh, you know, sometimes when we buy uh, when I, you know, use this product, we tend to rely, uh, of course, we must trust our uh, you know, partners and, you know, when you're buying from partners like Bajaj Capital, you know that you're in safe hand. But as a consumer, it's also important for you to understand what are you buying, you know, and it sometimes helps you making the right choices also, because you know that where will you want to, uh, you know, invest if there are choices, if options available, because many products have options. So, you know, uh, if, if, if I, you know, there are markets today uh, uh, where, for example, South Africa, where there are no restrictions on the product, you know, everything is covered uh, from day one. I mean, there's no restriction. Uh, unfortunately, when you are a low penetration market, you can't do that because then there'll be what is called anti-selection. People who have those conditions will tend to come and buy uh, those products more than anyone else. So typically in the products, there are restrictions of periods of, uh, you know, some conditions, etc., etc. I think ideally we should start moving more and more and more to remove the restrictions as much as possible so that it becomes more and relevant for consumers so one of the uh, you know set of restrictions that were there were about some kind of treatments typically modern treatments for example robotic surgery i mean it's it's a it's a modern treatment i mean it's it, and and by the way in the world of uh, uh, medicine also like in any other area technology is completely disrupting uh, the way it is, you know, even a traditional area of medicine is being done. Today, for example, in robotic surgery, robots are doing surgery. Now, typically that was not covered in uh, in the uh, erstwhile health insurance products. So there are certain kind of treatments in uh, whether diabetes, renal uh, condition, health condition. All of them are now, uh, you know, uh, once they go through what is called a regulatory, uh, you know, clearance that they are good enough. And once they go through enough testing so that now they can be taken to the larger mass of Indian consumers in, in let's say I'm talking in the context of India. The question is, why should we not allow that treatment to be uh, done? So as long as it is being done at scale, it has been cleared by the right regulatory authorities, the guidance from the regulator was bring them into your products. And I think 1st October 2020, that's one of the big changes that happened. Many more kind of treatments which were cleared by the you know government as a treatment which has passed through its trials etc we have to be very careful that we do we take up which are trial you know not in trial which is a separate uh, conversation topic in itself uh, you know how do you bring that so i think from 1st october 2020 any new indemnity policy which was sold or renewed carries those benefits today i mean those treatments are now covered and consumers don't have to uh, you know worry about it and 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 you know all of that peace of mind is there the, the 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 discussion within the industry is that how do we find a framework so that even if some fresh if, on a consistent basis as newer technologies and medical science is coming up we keep inco incorporating them uh, as long as they have been clearized so that comfort has been now available to uh, you know uh, new buyers of health insurance and i think you'll see more and more uh, such you know you know innovation in terms of larger coverage happening uh, as we move ahead yeah, that's superb. So, guys, your policy should have that uh, coverages available once you renewed it. But also, you must get it checked. 
as Mank said, that you must understand your product. At Bajaj Capital, we have built up a beautiful product called Health Insurance Review, where you can give your health insurance policy. We have built up a beautiful software which explains each and every feature to you. And it also explains what are the features available in the other products. You know, if we feel that you have got an old product or an outdated product, then we'll try to explain to you what are the features available in the other product and how in the same premium, what we have seen that today people are carrying such old products, old policies, the same amount of premium, they can get three to four times the coverage. Like you can easily, if what you are paying for a five lakh rupees, you can get a 50 lakh rupee coverage or even a 30, 40 lakh coverage, provided you need it. You know, again, don't buy too much health insurance because premium is going to become more expensive. So you have to be careful. You have to buy the right amount. And also, uh, so now going to some questions by the viewer, there's a gentleman called Karan Bisht, who's asked a very financial planning uh, based question that how much income should I invest in and which financial instrument, considering my goals are children and education planning and retirement, my own retirement planning. So Ismay Karan, this is a very basic financial planning question that I would answer that is that first you have to find out your investable surplus. That is your income minus expenses. And then what you do is you do a reverse planning. Then look for my children's education, I need maybe today two crore rupees on today's basis. If there is an inflation of 6%, example, after 10 years, this will become 3 crores. To save that 3 crores, I need to put in this much amount, given this is the type. Same you do for your retirement planning. And then you see that if your investment corpus or your, uh, you know, your savings or your uh, investable surplus is enough to meet both the goals, great. Then you can do both. If it's not enough, and that happens with most of the people, okay, I need to save 70,000 rupees a month or maybe 5 lakh rupees a month, and my investable surplus is half of that, then you need to either say, look, can I reduce my expenses? Can I increase my income? Or can I just, uh, you know, in that case, can I defer some goals? Because there's a power of compounding. So that this whole process is called financial planning. And, you know, I like to recommend to everybody, there's a, we have a college called International College of Financial Planning, which does 85, at least level one CFP, everybody should do. Okay, or there is a program called MFP, or just go to a good financial planner, come to Bajaj Capital, he'll help you take you through this process and help you do it. They're very nice softwares available today with most of the advisors and also learn to pay a fee. Today, you know, financial planning, you know, people want to go direct. Kitna bachate hai? 0.5%. Corpus is 50,000, 10 lakh rupees. Kitna bach gaya saal mein? 5,000 rupees. For 5,000 rupees in a year, if you can have a very good wealth manager who gets paid maybe 200 times that salary, giving you advice, why not take it? So it is very important. If you pay peanuts, you'll get monkeys. Okay, so next question again is a question. A lot of people asking us for jobs, man. So the <laughs> point is that, guys, dekho, there is a problem. You guys want jobs. We want employees. Okay, today, we are in India is in a high growth mode. Yaar. Hame chahiye log. So point experience. So we have created a program called mind wealth management IDWM. search if you don't have experience or you don't have relevant experience we will train you we will then keep you as an intern then we give you a guaranteed job so virtually in one year you are recovering or you are getting more than what you have paid for that course but at least you are able to come into an industry be successful but if you already have experience please go and post on the bajaj capital linkedin or aditya billa linkedin and there are enough jobs available. Mank, would you like to say something about that? There's so many people asking us for jobs. Yeah, I mean, uh, but, uh, Sanjeev, I completely agree. I mean, I, I, you know, uh, I always look back and I and I tell this to my children also, who are now, my elder one has now started working, uh, that, you know, the, the kind of opportunities that you have today, you're very lucky to be living in a time with so much opportunity in a country like India, which is the fastest growing large economy in the world i mean what else do you want to, to where else you would you want to be i mean it's it's such a and you know in, in health insurance we are you know 
the the pace at which we are hiring people because uh, you know the c- category is growing so fast our regulator is enabling it partner like but you know sanjeev are make, taking our offerings to our to consumers at scale penetration is so low opportunity so large i mean the only thing i you know expect from people is you know ability to kind of you know think big ambitious hard work and i think nothing can come in the way of your success there's lot i mean there's so much more opportunity today than it ever was in the past yeah, and, and guys uh, like bajaj capital we'll be adding about 1000 more jobs this year so if anybody wants job this is minimum you know if we can hire 2000 people there's a qr code uh, if you want to know more about bajaj capital and its career options and even if you don't have experience you are mediocre but we'll make you good don't worry about it same is with aditya birla health they this in sector and this industry is growing so fast and this is what we call a pyramid it's not a pyramid industry other places there are very few jobs on the top we are a cylinder you know here the same person for the same job can be paid 5 lakh rupees he can be paid 50 lakh rupees he can be paid 1 crore also so you have wealth managers at all levels and similarly you have professionals agents you know people at all level it is on all all your capability there are lot of jobs available so that is not a this thing uh so also the man people are asking this question on uh, super top ups they yeah. say we understand we have heard about super top ups but we some get confused and scared about super top ups so can you explain super top up in a proper manner do we need to have a insurance a normal insurance to buy a super top up or we can even without Uh, you know, on a group insurance, buy a super top up, and tomorrow we want to convert it into a in, in, uh, in normal policy. Is that possible? What are the porting rules? So people want to understand more about super top ups. Yeah, you know, uh, good question, uh, Sanjeev, and from wherever it has come. See, as as Sanjeev earlier explained, and I think he explained it very well, that what happens is that uh, you know, suppose you say that I have the ability to. you know pay let's say 5 lakh of rupees and i and i and i have enough fund to pay f- up to 5 lakh of uh, so, you know uh, cost of healthcare let you know in any particular year i mean and and assuming that it's not a recurring in- incident in that year uh, then you may take a co- and, and right now because of the way i have allocated my uh, overall in- investable money as sanjeev was explaining i want to put this sum aside for health insurance you can buy a super top up product so super top up can be bought in multiple ways you can buy have a base cover of 5 10 whatever you you know you 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 are willing to uh, put your money in and then on top of that you buy a super top up that base cover can be your own retail it can be a corporate cover or it can be a fund of yours which is funding that uh, you know amount up to that level and the super top up kicks in the the moment the uh, let's say you know the actual cost is 7 lakh rupees 5 lakh you have to pay Uh, from wherever your uh, you know first base cover is or your uh, fund is and then above that you end up uh, using the super top up uh, policy so it works very uh, you know uh, easily uh, of course you should make sure that these questions are well answered by you know uh, wherever you are buying it from you know i'm sure the financial planner in bajaj capital if you're buying there or you know they will explain you so that's how it works now whether it can be converted into a full retail policy uh technically you know uh yes it can be uh, uh you know the 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 co- the companies will normally have a uh, you know underwriting norms in terms of you know what's your uh, uh, uh there are in in any porting you can't mandate the company to port the company always has a choice to say no typically if you are by you know if you are porting early in your you know and you you know you don't have a health condition etc your claims experience has been proper in the previous portfolio porting immediately happens if if there is some experience then the company may want to understand what is the potential because please understand when you port there is no further waiting period etc etc you know the benefits start immediately if, uh, assuming that you've served the tenure of all of the waiting period etc in the uh, in uh, in the past so but and and therefore again i'll encourage that have a minimum basic base cover for yourself and on top of that take the top up so that you are assured forever in the future and nowadays by the way as sanjeev was saying there are many innovations in the base product itself where there are you know no claim bonus there are you know bonuses which you know which which bring back the restore the benefits immediately uh, you know and 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 therefore 
you get multiple times of the base sum assure also depending on same treatment different treatment etc so you actually end up at a low cost uh, paying for that benefit get a much larger value of sum assured so i think if you if you refer to a a proper financial planner for someone like bajaj capital and i think they can give you a very price effective health insurance solution uh, with base and sum assured which can actually give you a peace of mind for a uh, very very long uh, in, in the time so right so mank we have a uh, one of our viewers called muskan khanna she is asking a very interesting question she is saying after covid have you seen increase in demand for both retail or group insurance covers or is it only uh, one segment yeah you know muskan it's a good uh, question again see um, <laughs> interestingly during covid every time a wave will happen the sales will go up because you know it's it's a it's a hurt you know it's just the mentality that we have right oh my god there is a risk let's buy health insurance right now and uh, most of us had even uh, waived the waiting period etc in that you know so that it it becomes even more effective uh once that uh, you know the fear went away then i would say let's say if the base was you know at a x level pre covid it went up you know quite a bit during the waves and the 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 serious person it has come down now the base has of course gone up a bit so people are now willing the awareness level has gone up so if if someone is reaching to consumer they are more willing to buy today than they were earlier the second thing that has happened is that people are buying higher sum assured so if they were buying 3 lakh 4 lakh they are now buying 5 lakh 7 lakh 10 lakh because you know the example that uh, you know earlier sanjeev said that you know during covid time you know the entire family was in the hospital and therefore you ended up paying 15 20 25 lakh of rupees and if you didn't have health insurance you know people paid from their own pocket so people are now realizing the coverage must be higher than what they used to buy earlier so that is one thing which is definitely there to stay which is a good trend uh is the is the you know buying at the same level during covid no it has come down a bit but it has gone up pre covid uh, level uh, more awareness both in retail and group even corporates who didn't have corporate insurance are now buying and uh, more importantly the corporates are now saying uh, getting different kind of products for their uh, employees like super top up etc but retail definitely there is a pick up from the earlier times uh, higher awareness higher sum assured and uh, that is why i i say that this is a great time to be uh, you know uh, let's say someone who's selling health insurance as part of bajaj capital or joining organization like us uh, becoming a financial planner and i always say that you know there's you know you, you should look at holistic uh, opportunity uh, but but yeah there is there is definitely a larger opportunity today so man given the next question is very interesting there's a lady called shivangi tripathi and we are getting very nice questions by ladies today she is saying any plans or do you have any plan or any plans of launching plans with maternity expenses with immediate or low no waiting period <laughs> shivangi it's <laughs> i was i've been asked this question uh, and and uh, i i'll just take a step back a bit on the principle of insurance right what happens in insurance how did insurance start uh, you know if if it's a definite event then it is not typically by definition insurance right but if it's a definite event so uh, uh, insurance started by people coming you know in a village people pooling together their money and said if something happens to anyone you'll use that pool and therefore the concept of insurance where you know people collected their money into a common pool insurance companies do what they typically are collecting money from a large pool of consumers to pay to people who uh, you know end up having a condition that is what insurance is and therefore we want larger pool in con- in the context of maternity typically if it's a definite uh, you know someone asked me the other day that do you have a uh, maternity product where a uh, post pregnancy i can buy maternity i said uh, you know with full uh, immunity ma'am that's a actual event so i'm actually paying for a cost which is technically already incurred in a way uh, so uh, there are products where there is uh, maternity expenses with very less waiting period but then the product price will be very high so you have to take a call whether you want to pay that a high price or you know whether you can take the costs on your own we are now trying to evaluate on this product uh, opportunities with partners that can we play a role in bringing down the cost uh, significantly by you know being uh, a, a, you know aggregator etc so i think there are opportunities for insurance companies 
uh, we ourselves are about to launch a product which will you know have good maternity benefit but reduction starts increasing the price shivangi but uh, mayank your current plan which which plan has the minimum waiting period for maternity uh, it has 3 year in our uh, platinum we are now bringing we are working on another product which should uh, we are looking at finalizing what should be the waiting period but uh, the whole idea is uh, uh, you know whether the consumer is willing to pay the price for that sanjeev because otherwise the price increases for everyone yeah but man here i have a different view uh, that is uh, something for another day I, as you said bringing in younger people maternity can enable you to do that yes yes and, uh, and that's and, what uh, you know at one time there was a product where i had we had a profitability bonus hmm Sorry, and, uh, not... we were able to actually reduce the claim ratios because we were able to bring in the younger people in so i have certain thoughts but uh, shivangi there are products available with one year waiting so you can get in touch with your bajaj capital uh, relationship manager or just put in a query at bajaj capital uh, so there are products available with one year but then uh, that that's the minimum because you know if you're already pregnant then it's very difficult to get although there is a need because you know people want to cover children sometimes children are born with some defects and if you don't have insurance then it can be a very sad situation so uh, you know that this is definitely something we'll request the regulator to enable for the industry in some manner where there is no anti selection happening so this is a very very important point that you have put forward and uh, i'm sure mayan can his team will definitely uh, look into it uh yeah so next is there's a very again very interesting question uh, mank the guy is asking look you have this restore benefit x benefit y benefit z benefits why can't you know why should i buy 5 lakh policy with so many other benefits give me a 15 lakh cover at the same cost you know at the end of the day it's just additional sum insured why are you complicating my insurance you know it's a good uh, question sorry uh who's the person who asked this question sanjeev uh, the name this na name is ajay ajay I, i think this is a this is a good question and i think if you ask me one opportunity for the category is and i and i being part of the category i i also take full uh, kind of ownership of that and accountability is to make the jargons and the you know all of the you know uh, these abbreviation that we use and some of the terms we use and you know the benefits simpler and i think we have an opportunity we must work on that uh on 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 each one of them in our in our effort to bring in innovation we sometimes you know bring in benefits and you know name them and the in the way they work which creates more confusion for the consumer and i think uh, that's where one opportunity lies for all of us to make it more consumer friendly because one reason i have observed in my last 5 years in health insurance and even earlier in insurance is that sometimes we make it difficult for the consumer to comprehend the offering and which is which becomes a reason for them not buying the product so i completely agree with you uh, you know whether we can offer a 15 lakh by same price or not but definitely we can make it simpler and in remove many of these uh, you know uh, so called you know complex benefits which you know in the name of innovation only create more complication for the consumer and ultimately if it is not simple for the consumer it only creates more friction in them buying it so i completely agree with you ajay i think it's an opportunity for us and you know i take that and with full humility that feedback yeah, and there we have also another interesting question by alok uh, saying so alok is asking ke look even if there is a low ticket uh, size product available people are not willing to buy health insurance because they don't understand it why is the industry lacking in its marketing or the product itself for some other reason so he's asking like the life insurance industry markets itself or mutual fund does mutual fund sahi hai why doesn't insur health insurance industry have something like that to create awareness about need of buying health insurance yeah uh, actually uh, just just before covid uh, you know the entire uh, i would say general insurance including health insurance got together and we started a campaign Uh, which was uh, the tagline was fayde ki baat explaining why there is merit in uh, and there's benefit in buying uh, health insurance and a few other lines of businesses products 
uh, we couldn't continue because of covid uh, issues i think there are conversations now going on and bringing uh, you know that back as an industry uh, plus each one of us has our own role to play to create more awareness uh, in and in, in in creating more consumer understanding of why health insurance is relevant we do that we do that through also our partners like uh, sanjeev and others who also create more awareness every consumer they touch they explain this uh, i think uh, if we have done in our own way not just by the campaign and innovate and awareness but also through our offerings so when we i remember when we were bringing starting the company i i i kind of i went out spent time along with my team across the country speaking to consumers on what their views on health insurance was and what kind of benefits they want so the whole effort of uh, providing benefits to consumers for staying healthy was in a way telling the cons- because some customers asked mujhe kya milta hai main kyon khareedu health insurance and we said main to healthy hu mujhe to kuch milega nahi i want something in return so our way of responding to that was okay if you are you know healthy then demonstrate the good health behavior today digital technology allows us and we will give you in return where will you get the entire premium back 100 100 percent return kaha milta hai kaun se product milta hai mujhe bataiye you know legitimately in this you get it for doing something good for your own health so that was a way of responding to consumer feedback etc uh, we can do more uh, of course uh, both individually as a company and as an industry and there's work on in that uh, area so there is also another interesting question by one of our regular viewers ashok kumar He is asking, "What is the claim ratio of Aditya Birla Health Insurance?" So, uh, you, I, I, are you asking claim ratio or are you asking claim settlement ratio? Uh, because from a consumer I perspective, what is important? For the claim settlement ratio, yeah, or even claim, a claim ratio of the products that depend. Yeah, so claim settlement ratio end, uh, on uh, ending March thirty first, twenty twenty two, and even June twenty twenty two. was at 94% which is the highest in the industry and uh, as a brand we give a lot of focus on finally what we give back as the moment of truth ye to ye to really moment hai na jab consumer aap se expect kar raha hai so that is when we uh, you know uh, we, we it is 94% highest and we have uh, you know over a period of time understood consumers and on there and and i think that's that will be our endeavor all the time to give back to consumers on the claims ratio of course as you know during covid the claims ratios went up it is now starting to settle so we are still looking at it you know we ended last year if i remember uh, retail somewhere around 65 or something corporate you know group insurance somewhere around you know slightly above 100 because of the cl- covid claims but it is as covid claims have gone up it is starting to settle i think it will take about 6 more months uh, a shock for the actual claim ratio to settle because some of the postponed treatments etc are still coming and based on that uh, all companies are now deciding to either change their pricing you have seen for example most companies have increased the price we are the ones who have not yet done uh, we may have to look, explore that uh, depending on how the claims ratios settle down finally yeah. so main ka another question is a very interesting uh, question uh, where the, you know with being a life and health insurance person both so the question there that has been asked is ke look uh, the life insurance companies during covid have taken very hasty decisions and uh, they had much lesser claims but they have made their underwriting so difficult they have jacked up their prices their health insurance players have been very graceful and they have had you know they have been very good in the way they have handled the covid crisis while they were the most worst affected well, you know what would you like to say on that Yeah, I mean, without commenting on the life side, I like to comment only on the HI side because I don't know what uh, con- what was the context there. It's not fair on my part to comment there. In health, I'll say you're very right. The health insurance industry, you know, across GI and Sahi, would have played in excess of twenty five, twenty six thousand crore of COVID claims only. Please note, twenty five, twenty six thousand crore of COVID claims, and this was a complete hit to the you know bottom line. and so i think we we have done uh, more than our bit to help the country in these very tough and trying times and we'll continue to do that uh, we were very clear that uh, and people asked us are you increasing the prices and everyone in the industry and we said we'll wait we'll watch we will not increase because of covid we'll watch and increase only if there is a you know even in the non covid claim there's an increase in claims experience etc and i think that's what the industry has done and i think that is how we are showing that we are relevant we pay back we are 
important for any consumer to look at that's our way of as a industry you know uh, give comfort to the consumers and hopefully uh, you in you know i don't know in what role you uh, you, you play if you are a financial planner uh, then you should take that message if you are a consumer then you should have trust and comfort in uh, you know uh, all of us as a category that we will be there when time comes hopefully not but if ever it happens so and another uh, so alisha is asking this question this is this health hike in health insurance policies being sold going to continue alisha we are slightly short on time so i'd like to say look i think uh, covid has shown the need of uh, health insurance to everyone we are seeing so many own stories like we had our we have launched a program called ghar wapsi where ex employees can come back other day i was talking to an employee who had left in maybe 2018 19 to become an ifa now he was sharing his story with me he left started as an ifa he had group insurance through bajaj capital when he left and at the end of the day his family and he got covid and they ended they have ended up spending something around 30 32 lakhs on his and mainly on his father's treatment who had to be hospitalized for about 8 weeks now point is that he's saying that i have lost everything i had created so point is that people have seen so many stories today everybody knows stories like this so i don't think people are going to forget yes the health insurance is going to grow people are going to get it and then it's going to reach a little bit of a uh, saturation and that's where wellness comes in so i think this is uh, you know right now penetration is too low this growth will uh, continue one is by this lady called uh, uh, Pannika, uh, she is asking Pannika Bhardwaj. She is asking this question, man. Any exciting products that ABHA is for? <laughs> uh, so we are we are now. Uh, and one thing for... I have to say, I'm the you know I'm surprised by the number of uh, female viewers on our uh, channel today. And yeah, uh, you yeah. know I think eighty percent of the questions are by females. So. The, you know that means that uh, today they are taking ownership of ensuring health of their families so which is fantastic it's good to see uh, the female uh, audience taking such an active interest in health insurance financial planning it's amazing you know uh, so something very interesting has happened in india sanjeev uh, just a few months back when the number of females in india are more than the number of males so that is our you know you know and that, that's a very important trend and we all must note that they are all you know there now they are you know i think it's uh, you know we must you kind know, of uh, see how we include them more because i think the power that they bring is really really uh, very very large on this question uh, i think there are various areas that we are working on one of the areas that uh, we have just launched and we at a i would say at a early stage but we are looking at big time is coverage of outpatient expenses because and we are we are trying to find what's the right way to cover that because it's not, sometimes it's not a full insurance product it has a component of savings in it and funding in it so we are trying to find the right architecture because we believe that that can enhance the value of in health insurance much more to consumers and also give access to health data uh, to insurers so that's one area second is looking at specific segments so wait for a very interesting product for the young and healthy segment from our side which will come very soon i will i i my thing is that i think it will appeal significantly to the younger mass of indian consumers and i'm sure with uh, sanjeev we will take it to very large part of the country uh, similarly we are looking at some products for women segment etc so uh, we continue to work and i must say here that uh, something that i have really enjoyed working with San- sanjeev is uh, his feedback inputs on the consumer insights he has because he talks so many of our product uh, you know over, not just here but in the live days have actually been traded with lots of insight that sanjeev has shared with us so i love to you know of course like to continue on that partnership journey with sanjeev and the and one reflection of that partnership sanjeev is that even we have launched this whole program of ghar wapsi so just a minds meet uh, at various level sanjeev Yeah, and, and it's done really well for us. You know, last three months we've already got seventy-seven people of uh, who were high performers with us who have chosen to come back. And I know a lot of others watch this program. So, guys, please come back. <laughs> it's uh, time. You know, we we want you to come back. 
and uh, you know although with this was the last question there are a lot of questions on number how do i become an agent so you can become a pos with us you can approach aditya bidla to become an agent even if you are a professional you can do it on the side you can be both pos and as an agent but health insurance may you know i'm taking that liberty that work with a broker we give you many more options so there are a lot of people who want to uh, sell health insurance so there are a lot of opportunities available one last question we should we have to take this is by a gentleman called mayur kashyap so he is asking a very nice question that my income is below 20000 and i want to buy a health insurance what should i how should i go about it ah good question so i would say that uh, you know i think uh, in in a situation like this so i don't know if what is your money that you can save uh, in out of uh, the income and i uh, because that's important part uh, to to look at it uh, one one way to do that is that you know buy a small uh, ticket size insurance by way of uh, a super top up so that at least you know that i'm only my, my expense is limited to a certain amount and you can let's say buy a, a, a above 1 lakh cover you know for let's say about 5 lakh the 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 ticket size of the insurance goes on quite a bit and as you have a larger surplus then you can increase the ticket size or buy the base cover also so maybe try and buy affordable uh, you know which where you know what what amount you can put and a super top up could be a good ca case for you to buy so that you have reasonably at least large sum assured and knowing that this is the maximum amount i'll have to pay from my pocket uh, before i can buy the full insurance yeah so i think you know super top up is a great option for you because where you know maybe first 50000 or 1 lakh you are not covering but then the cost will become very cheap or buy a small uh, maybe uh, 2 lakh 3 lakh sort of a cover where you get uh, continuity benefits and you can ask your even your employer to help you get that cover at least i do it for all the people who work with me below a certain level i make sure they have an insurance and i do help them with that so i'm sure other employers would also be doing that So guys, thank you for joining us for fantastic talks. We are eight minutes over, so we we can't push it any further. I know there are a lot of questions. We'll try to. If you have any question, please put them in comments, and we'll make sure all of them get answered either by Bajaj Capital or Aditya Billa team. So thank you guys for joining us, and thank you Mank for an amazing amazing session. I think people would have got a very good in and health insurance and wellness. as as you have talked about it one final thing i like to say your health insurance policy generally has some advantages available like free health checkup extra etc etc and this you know information doesn't have to go back to your health insurance company so a lot of people don't avail these benefits because they feel my confidentiality will be and most of the cases you can maintain that confidentiality so use the features and the benefits that you have on your plan bank some last words from you no i'll just say uh, thank you sanjeev for this great opportunity i know uh, uh, just the opportunity to be able to talk and share this with, with such a large number of audience and lives that you know uh, you can reach out to through your platform is is really wonderful i'll just say folks you're living in some really wonderful time with opportunities uh you know keep looking at uh you know what lies ahead of you but just you know invest that small bit in giving you that peace of mind that you know i'm covered for my health expenses if at all they come and focus on the opportunities to grow your your career and take care of your family and live your dreams so thank you everyone thank you for joining us today see you in the next fantastic talk